The IRCC has announced a significant change to the work permits under the Startup Visa program. It appears that applicants can now receive open work permits under this program, but let's take a look at the details. My name is Andrea from Yala Canada, and I am a RCIC, that's a regulated Canadian immigration consultant, and I am the only RCIC to have moved to Canada under the Startup Visa program. So therefore, I have a really good understanding of the nuances of this program, both from an immigration consultant point of view, as well as from a founders. So firstly, what has not changed is that the SUV program continues to remain a PR program. It continues to be the only direct to PR program for applicants wanting to start businesses within Canada. Secondly, the SUV work permit is optional. There is no new requirement that requires you to apply for a work permit unless you choose to do so. But what has changed is that the work permit will be an open work permit. This means that you can effectively work for any other employer and you are not restricted to working only on your startup visa. Also, the IRCC has stated that the new work permits will be for up to three years. Now, there is one huge detail in the requirements that is new and effectively means that new applicants will not be able to apply for a work permit. What does that mean? As part of the work permit application, the work permit applicant needs to have already received an AOR. This is an acknowledgement of receipt of their PR application. So basically, when you submit your PR application, the IRCC checks it physically and issues you a file number that your application is under process. Right now, the AORs are taking in excess of 18 months to be processed by the IRCC. So this means that unless the IRCC speeds up the AOR process, it means that applicants will need to wait for a long time before they are eligible to apply for an SUV work permit. The IRCC has also specified that there must be significant benefit to Canada. Applicants need to prove that their businesses will create jobs for Canadians, will actually innovate products or services, will benefit remote economies, and provide training opportunities for Canadians. There are other requirements for the work permit application, but these have already been in force. For example, only an essential member is allowed to apply for a work permit and you need to show enough settlement funds and funds to manage your business in Canada. We expect that there will be further clarifications from the IRCC on this new announcement, so stay tuned as we keep you updated on those. This is Andrea from Yala Canada. If you'd like more insights on how to qualify for Canada's Startup Visa program, then reach out to me. My details are in the description.